Billings Logan International Airport is headed for change. After nearly 80 years of operation, officials are looking 30 years into the future of a growing city and with it, air travel needs. Now, right now, more than 853,000 passengers flew the friendly skies in Billings in 2017. That's down nearly 2% from a year ago. Still, the local financial impact generated as a direct result of the airport is estimated at $148 million annually. The big target for growth, more jet bridges. Airport officials want to nearly double the number of gates in the new construction plans. Q2's Dustin Kleeman is live at the airport tonight to bring us more details on those plans and what it means for our local pocketbooks. Dustin. Good evening, Jane. Now, taxpayers can rest assured that they will not be paying a dime for this project. Now, I'm told by airport officials that this is the perfect time. It only comes once every 20 to 30 years, but the planning needs to happen right now. This is what the Billings Airport looked like back in 1992 before its last major renovation. Plans are in the works for an expansion of the concourse, additional bridges at the Billings Logan International Airport. And that's exactly the impetus for this project is to make the concourse large enough that we can then add parking positions for up to eight or nine aircraft. And that would set up the city probably for the next 30 some years at least. At an early estimated $40 million price tag, there were several resources for funding, including federal aviation dollars and grants. Won't be any tax dollars involved. You know, the public always gets excited about that. No tax dollars. Uh, we'll do this all with the airport funds. Right now, gates are overburdened. The proposed project would be essential to adding more flight options for passengers. Well, what it does is it gives me the ability to actually go out and say, can you come to the Billings now? Because I have a gate position for you. You know, right now the American Airlines is on the same gate as, as the Allegiant Airline, and sometimes United uses that gate too, so that gate gets used a lot. The additional gates, while a major transformation, is only part of the larger picture, with changes to speed of check-in and food options. One of the things we're looking at doing is making it much better for our customers. You know, way more convenient, a lot more amenities that people are getting, you know, want to see now. You know, it's a different day and age. We're trying to bring all of those amenities up to standard now that people are expecting because they're seeing them at other airports. No plans have been finalized yet, but what I'm told is the TSA behind me, which seems quiet right now, but as anybody might know, in the morning it seems very, very busy and the line can stretch. This area would see a major overhaul, making it more streamlined and easier to check in and get to your gate. Also, it would begin September 2019 as construction and would take several years to complete. Jane Janelle. All right, thanks, Dustin. Q2's Dustin Kleeman reporting live from the airport here in Billings tonight. Thanks, Dustin.